Have you ever felt like something was missing deep in the core of your soul? Have you ever wondered if your life was meant for something bigger? Consumed with stress and the worries of the world that seems so overwhelming. Questioning if God can even hear your prayers or if he's abandoned you in the stagnant pond of your life. What if I told you that you could follow the river and you could find a way to a world where your dreams still exist? So if you're tired of being trapped by your own fears, doubts, and self-destructive behaviors, you can join Will and Marie as they journey into the unknown, searching for new answers, new blessings, and new purpose in the deep waters. Okay, so which one do you want to talk about to start off with? I like your perception is not part of God's perfection. Okay. Perceptions are not part of God's perfection. Okay. I like that too. Um, tell me why you like it though. Um, I mean, I know you thought of it, but tell me why you like it. And I'm sorry if I... No, no. I think, I think it's because our perceptions of who we're supposed to be is bent out of our own inadequacies and insecurities. And we have a unrealistic standard, I would say, okay. for our own holiness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> when, you know, God has a whole different plan for us in our development, which doesn't involve the whole self self condemnation thing. You know, okay. um, okay. you know, I mean, because in the first two commandments, you know, love him and love your neighbor. It was also love yourself. Right. And that's the part of the perception that we get distorted. Okay. That's, I you think like you that? might need to go on there. Yeah, because, okay. <laughs> and I was saying to God today, when, when you uh, were on your ass and up, I'm just going to let Will leave because I don't know what you're talking about today. <laughs> but when you said that, I thought about the fact that how often we, um, don't like ourselves I mean, mm. the way we feel about ourselves is how we're going to treat other people mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so we're looking at a perception of ourselves and that percep perception of ourselves is also going to how is going to be how we think other people think about us okay okay hi guys we are back on another deep waters episode what number is this oh no 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 i think it's I got, 13. i got it wrong last it's time. 13 it's 13. <laughs> When I say I got it wrong the last time, Will was talking about me so bad. It's, it was terrible. It's 13, and um, this, uh, these next three videos that we're about to do here in Marie's house may be... Why was that important? <laughs> well, because, cause I, you know, I want to do it... Um, I'm developing a little studio in my office with okay. the lighting and everything, and okay. so... Um, we're, you're going to see us transition to a whole nother uh, environment to make things even more phenomenal. He thinks he thinks stuff. <laughs> and he is. And he is. Oh, um, but uh yeah, it's it's been really cool. It's been really cool. But Welcome this back, is guys. Yeah, yeah. This is Marie Purnell of Walking in Your Woman. And this is Will of Core Essentials, right? Core Essential Fundamentals. Fundamentals. Yeah. Oh he didn't add yeah. something like, you know, then you're gonna be educated. <laughs> What's going on? I um, love it though. And it, it's been cool. Yeah, I it, love it. It's been cool. Um, but, you know, before we even go into this topic on uh, perceptions, how has your week been? Since the since, since last time, because we don't ever do that, you know. Let's just, just kind of check That's in. That's very true. And I know. like that because yeah. my week has been different because I've had to transition some things in my own mind. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so when you are getting to a place where, you know, I've got walking in your woman, Will's got his counseling court essentials fundamentals, fundamentals. Mm -hmm. and when you had to when god tells you to pursue it does not mean you're gonna be sitting on your job 24 7 anymore mm -hmm. there's mm -hmm. some things that god is making me move into that um is changing my perception 
actually. Um, actually, what I probably had been afraid of for a long time. Yeah, it, it, it's it's funny how as we grow, mm -hmm. and that's and that's a, a privilege to just grow because yeah, not everybody's is. growing. A lot of people are afraid to grow. They're stunted, you know, and they um, stunt their own growth. Though, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and, you know, so when we experience things that would have broke us and destroyed us, you know, years before, now we just kind of look at it like, okay, mm -hmm. all right, this is something I need to learn, and and I and I, and I now look at my struggles for the diamonds, mm -hmm. you know, within the 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 distress, yeah. you know, within yeah. the disappoint disappointment. What's in there? What nugget is in there for me to, like, to glean? You know, yeah. like with uh, with uh, Ruth when she was gleaning the 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 grains of of, of wheat uh, for Boaz. And I know I'm getting deep when we're talking about. You but know. that's okay because I'm glad you're saying that. Because go ahead. <laughs> you know, but but when she was finding the blessing in gathering food, you know, through her struggles, mm -hmm. it turned into a greater blessing. Mm -hmm. mm. Brought my Jesus in right, this place. Right. But when you said that, I thought about the fact that she um she could have saw the fear of it all. Mm -hmm. But she chose her faith over fear. Mm -hmm. And that's a big deal. So when you choose your faith over fear, it changes your perspective, clearly. Mm -hmm. And sometimes for me, okay, <laughs> this is just for me. My footsteps uh, feel like um, my feet feel like they're like they are too small for the shoes that God has placed me in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because you know, it's like okay, it's like a little girl or a little boy putting <laughs> their dad's shoes on mm -hmm. and trying to walk in them. Right. And it's because they really want to be like their father or mother. Mm -hmm. And with that being the case. They don't see anything wrong with trying them shoes on and trying to walk in them. And, and, and understanding the process of growth is that of they're growth. awkward in the beginning. Yeah. Because the shoes don't fit. Don't fit. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that is so key because, man, oh, man, I'm, I'm just thinking about what God is doing for me right now. Like, he's mm -hmm. put me in positions like Will's been there. I mean, watching me grow. Mm hmm and the things that he's God is pushing me into, my word for the year of 2023 is pursue. Right, right, right. So, and I'm like, pursue? No, wait, just hold on. I mean, God, <laughs> just a second now. <laughs> and he's been telling me continually over and over and over, I just need you to trust me. And mm -hmm. think about that when those kids are getting in their dad's shoes or their mom's shoes, they're even possibly trusting their parent to teach them how to walk mm -hmm. in those shoes. Mm -hmm. And it's just like with Ruth, she trusted her mother-in-law right. in such a way that it was like, whatever you tell me to do, okay, fine, I'll go. Yeah. I'll go and lay at the feet of Boaz. I'll, I'll go and glean in this field uh -huh. that I don't know anything about. You know what I mean? Like, whatever you're telling me to do, mm -hmm. I'm going to do it. And, there, and, and her faith was bigger than her fear. Yeah, and, and, and it's funny when you look at the Bible stories. Um, I think sometimes we skip to the end of the story too quickly because mm -hmm. you you really have to take note of the journey, mm -hmm. the growing mm -hmm. part of mm -hmm. growth. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think that's part of the problem with our perceptions is that we think when we say faith over fear, we think it's instantaneous. Mm -hmm. We do. You know, and we think yeah. we're never going to backslide. Oh, you're talking about <laughs> you talking about me. Because let me tell you what. No, I'm a, uh, forgive me for interrupting you. I am so sorry. I did not mean to hijack your conversation. Sorry, right, sorry. Right. But the reason why I'm saying I got to say this real quick is because <laughs> I lost my train of thought that fast. <laughs> That's what I get for hijacking this conversation. But what are you saying? Faith over fear. Is it instantaneous? Is okay. It me, right? <laughs> I don't like work. I don't like to work. I don't like the process. I don't like it. I want my stuff now. Right, right. There... I did not want the process of having to go and find an office and go and talking to people. I, I, I just want to get my stuff here. And I just want, I want to see the evidence of it right now. And God's looking at me like, child, get it together. Mm -hmm. There is work that has to be mm -hmm. done. And mm -hmm. that's the reason why the word of God even tells you mm -hmm. faith without works is what? Dead. Straight it's up dead. dead. And so there's work that I need to do in order for my growth. I mean, 
there's just so much things that we need to process. Mm -hmm. Our minds has to grow. Our our vision has to grow. Our business has to grow. Our where we're going to be our moving patients into. Have to grow. Oh gosh. Yeah, I know. See, see, yeah. I, that's why. <laughs> But it's funny because I don't want to talk about so 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 you're saying your week has been a part of a, a growing process yeah yeah in all areas yeah. you know and and that's cool because you gonna tell me about your week oh yeah 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 I can't see wait. see see I'm not gonna lose my train of thought though so what's cool about it's okay. it <laughs> it's okay. is that in the growing phase because not everybody pays attention to the growing phase. You really get to take in account where you were and where you are and where you're going, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know. And when you're just spending all your time reacting to one crisis after the next, oh, problem solving one thing after the next, you never can take time to breathe to recognize one, you're still here. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Two, we are still trying, mm -hmm. and that's huge. And it's progress. That is such progress. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So my progress this week. Was that um, you know I recently had um, surgery you yes. know and I'm I'm recovering yeah. and this was my first full week of being back in the gym mm -hmm. you know working out and uh, I'm tired <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. but it's a it's a good tire yeah. yeah because when when I can accomplish and mind you I don't I, I if you're watching my other videos you hear me working out a lot that is not where I come from mm -hmm. I don't come from the five day, six day workout per people. I'm I'm not that people. I'm not there yet. You know, and they're pulling but, me. They're pulling me there now. Let me tell you the 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 support I have and the community I, I'm I'm within. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's not not the only community, right? Um, it has been such an a, a growing experience. Yeah, in me redefining myself physically with my temple which also works on my self-discipline, which helps me mentally, you know, to be able to handle stress and mm -hmm. process it well, you know, instead of letting it, you know, it, it, it's so symbolic when I see people just sitting, you know, and, and, and just absorbing stress, absorbing sugar, absorbing cholesterol, and not being able to process their problems efficiently. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's just so connected and, you know, even with the programs I'm working on with a couple of uh, nurse practitioners I'm talking to, we want to really create a holistic uh, program to help people live this elite recovery lifestyle. And it's not just about the sobriety in terms of drugs and alcohol. I'm talking about the sobriety of being sober minded right. and uncluttering your mind right. from all the mess. And I think that's... And, and and help me if I'm wrong, but I think that's going to also make you become more disciplined in your life. Absolutely. In your lifestyle. Absolutely. In the way that you, um, I posted something in my on my page in regards to um, a young lady um, it called um, Maximize Your Moment mm -hmm. with Myla Watley. And um, shout out. <laughs> and um, she talked about routine. Mm. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't, I didn't want, I didn't want a routine because this was my routine: getting up, going to work, going to church, possibly on a Sunday if it, if we had church. Mm -hmm. Then I was going to Bible studies on Wednesdays. That that was my routine: work, home, work, home, church. Yep. That was my routine. Yep. Nothing about me to make myself better. Reading, you know, being a better person, or you know, yeah. just no real. Con Ooh, wow. Okay, God, I heard, I heard that. I had no real content in my life. Mm. Mm. And when you don't have any real content in your life, you don't even have any pages to turn. You know, and it's funny. We, didn't, we don't have content mm -hmm. because we don't have any context in our mind to create content. Very there, true. There's no... There's no knowledge. There's no, there's no goal yeah, no. to be better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then, because I don't mm -hmm. have that goal, yeah. there's no reason to have any content oh, to fulfill on. that goal. I just had this conversation with my husband. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. I said a little bit more differently, though. I said to him, and this is no disregard to my husband. Well, please don't take it that way. <laughs> Sorry, Kevin. Yeah. I mean, really, <laughs> seriously, I don't want to, you guys to think like this about him, but... Kevin's not a, he's a man of few words, but mm -hmm. he's a man of few, many words all at the same time. Mm -hmm. Does that make mm -hmm. sense? So what I'm trying to say is, like, if I 
didn't really, or if I did something, mm -hmm. it, he never really said he was proud of me for doing it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is my thought. He ain't really proud of me, so ain't no need me really doing anything more than what I've done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't push myself to be better for myself. I wouldn't push myself to be better for my daughters. Mm -hmm. I just was like, well, you know, nobody's really going to be proud of me anyway. So I don't need me really doing it. Right. I mean, I, honestly, that's that's where I was. So I had no content. Mm -hmm. I had no contacts. So I, I got this book on the side. And the, and I was thinking about when I when you look at the book, they've got all kinds of people talking about the person that's doing it, the, the author of the book, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Then you got your dedication, mm -hmm. right? I, no, I'm going somewhere. And then you got your content. But your content also has chapters. Mm-hmm. Different pages, a certain amount of pages you're going to be reading, mm -hmm. a certain amount of pages that you're going to learn from and glean from and right. go to the next right, page right, to get right, some right, more right, information. Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's how your life should be. It should be a book, whether it be open or closed for the moment. It should be a book of something that you're always adding to. Mm -hmm. You know, you're going to your next page. You're going to your next chapter of life. You're going... But a lot of people don't see that. They no, don't, no. you know. So their perspective of themselves as we go kind of go back to mm -hmm. where we wanted to start at. I told Will in the beginning, my perspective has always been, um, it's not been that good. So mm -hmm. with my perspective being not good, my perception wasn't good mm -hmm. of myself. So mm -hmm. I didn't think that other people saw me as having a good pers perception mm -hmm. of me. So if I'm thinking I don't have a good perception of me, then I'm also thinking that next person doesn't have a good mm -hmm. perception of me. Which is causing me nothing but a virus, basically. Well, yeah, and it's funny because really? the the distortion is, is that many many people will only evaluate themselves through negative lenses. Negative lenses, wow, and geez. and God evaluates us through a holistic lens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, where yeah. He says, "Okay, all right, use messy in chapter two, mm -hmm. I get it, but <laughs> but I'm gonna use that messiness right. to yes. take you to chapter four. Yes, exactly. You know, because yeah. that messiness." Is going to create a phenomenal message mm -hmm. for chapter four, mm -hmm. and then we're going to grow that thing yes. to chapter six and seven. Yes, Jesus. you know, and, and it's so Woo. amazing because in our mm -mm. limited, broken perception, mm. we see our mess mm. as the final mm. destination. Yeah, that's or. It. As okay, I got to start all over again. Yeah, and God's not saying that. No, we ain't starting all this. That's chapter two. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're just not. You're not even over there yet. Now, how did you get? I'm all not racing it right yeah, over again. We're gonna right. use that chapter and, and move forward. Man, I'm telling you, Will. You know, I've been journaling a little bit more. I don't care if I'm writing this a little bit of paragraph. I'm mm -hmm. going to journal because I'm going to get this what I got on the inside out. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to start building my life again. Mm -hmm. And I'm mm -hmm. going to start building it in a way that God is directing me through Holy Spirit and getting my own perception out of the way. Because mm -hmm. it just mm -hmm. cost, it cost me so much drama. Mm -hmm. It cost me, it, it was, it just cost me, period. You know what I'm But we learn from the old perception. Mm -hmm. Because without my old broken, and I'm not, I still got issues. <laughs> yeah. With, without those flaws in my perception, I don't value the wisdom that comes later. Yeah, okay, but well, you can say that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Well, you can say you that. You can say that. Because there are so many of us out there that don't know how to do that. God, not yet. I know you're saying not yet. So how do we speak to that person now? We're doing it right now. All right. <laughs> We walking got, in your woman. You ain't got to yell. <laughs> but I'm just, you know, that's correct. Because even your core essential fundamentals, man, that teaching part, mm -hmm. it's going to build their character in such right. a way. Because right. I'm thinking about that woman mm -hmm. that has been a mess all her life mm -hmm. and didn't know how to build from her mess to be a better woman. I did, she didn't know how to build on top of that and use it as packing to say, oh, yeah, I, I did all that. Yeah. But look what I'm getting ready to do right here. And it's, I mean, it's what a difference perception will be. It, it, it is so huge because in this hypercritical, judgmental, broken society, we have developed the perception mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. you don't have a mess. You don't have a message if you're messy. Yeah. 
Yeah. Or you yeah. how dare you speak well? Yeah. When 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 I know what you was doing last Tuesday. Come, to, come on now. You can't have possibly have anything wise or or, or enlightening to say because you're messy. Yeah. And I say I absolutely am. Me too. <laughs> and been told that. Yeah. Now that affected me. It affected me terribly because people have been telling me I've been messy all my life, but the, all my life, I mean, and, but I didn't understand that God was using my mess mm -hmm. as a testimony for somebody to even say, you know what, you're right. I might have did. I might. I might have been a little messy in there. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you the lesson that I learned from it, though, because when I learned that, just trying to go and rescue somebody. Mm -hmm. And when either they didn't want to be rescued because they actually really thought that you were really getting into their business and really I was doing mm -hmm. it more out of love and I just didn't have the right tactics sometimes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it really did look messy. Yeah. Yeah. But my heart was in the right place because I darn sure didn't see want to see you going through what I've been doing. Right, right. I hear you. I hear you. So, you know, and I'm a wordsmith. Mm -hmm. And I know that now. And so I'm very talky, talky, talky. Mm hmm Sometimes I can talk myself into a mess. Because <laughs> I just talk too much trying to fix mm -hmm. what I may have said wrong or whatever. And and But now that I am growing in this, uh -huh. well, it's been a true testament as to where, you know, I thought I lost a good friend and God, re he restored something because he allowed me to hear about my mess and be able to be honest enough to say, yep, that was me being in my flesh. Mm -hmm. And being able to still have that valuable friendship mm -hmm. that I really thought that I lost. And God is has blessed it. And I'm, I'm grateful for it. But I'm telling you, I'm not telling you, you know, go back to somebody that's been terrible to you or anything right, right, like right. that. I'm just saying, when you're learning yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and and that's 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 very key to the growing part of the of our perceptions is mm -hmm. the humility mm -hmm. to be transparent enough to not only acknowledge our yeah. mess yeah but receive love help and and correction mm -hmm. for our mess mm -hmm. you know and, and and I had an example it was so funny because I, I went to physical therapy today you know because they work on my back strengthening me and everything. And um, <laughs> it's almost like, and I was laughing because my physical therapist was talking to me and he was telling the intern that he sends messages back and forth to my personal trainer, Sue. Telling on you? And, oh. and, and, and they connect. And Sue is a beast, so she's, mm, and he's they, in trouble. Wait, wait, wait. And they connect <laughs> to form an even better plan to oh, help exactly. me. And, and it's so exactly. funny. But if I wasn't humble enough. Yeah. Yeah. To put myself in, 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 in new hands. Yeah, yeah. To fix me yeah. and, and improve me. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have developed and created this 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 huge team yeah. that supports yeah. me. Yeah. And, and helps me build helps yeah. build me back up better than ever. Yeah, and and, and to be able to receive yeah. the correction mm -hmm. so that you can be better, built up better. Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Thinking better. Saying, okay, look, I don't really want to do this, but I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because, excuse me, I know it's going to make me better. And so this is where we are with perception. You mm -hmm. know, we want you guys to start taking a different look mm -hmm. at yourself and understanding that you're you're growing. Yeah. You're, it's, and it's grow time. And you're supposed to grow. Yeah. It is definitely grow time. Stretching does not feel good, does it, Will? It's called growing pains for a I'm reason. Going, and I guess I'm going to find out. Mm -hmm. um, but <laughs> stretching does not feel good. It is a very uncomfortable. Sometimes you might pull something. <laughs> Sometimes you might be trying to figure out how come my leg ain't working right and I just mm -hmm. been trying to walk. Mm -hmm. But you you got to stretch in order to grow. Yeah. So I, I'm grateful for this conversation mm -hmm. about perception. Mm -hmm. And we want to talk a little bit about God's perception. Do you want to wait until the next one? Um. Or you want to touch on it a little bit? We can touch on it a little bit. Okay, you know. um, I think the, the one other thing that we talked about was that, you know, how the, the, the verses, God won't put more on you than you can handle. Um, and the perception is, is a little bit, um, excuse me, distorted in our own minds because God won't put more on us than we can handle, not more on us than we think we can handle. Mm. You know, mm. so God 
totally understands our own our limits. Perception. We have put limits on ourselves that are ridiculous. Yeah. And he is trying to stretch us to see we are limitless. Mm -hmm. And that is probably the most powerful percep perception yeah. we could ever adopt. We can do anything. Mm. I was listening to what you sent me. You owe you. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, Dr. Eric Thomas. Oh. Um, he wrote this new book, You Owe You. Oh. Um, and then I there posted was a, it on my page, you see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's powerful. Powerful. Then there's another book. Um, and and he and he 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 cusses a lot, but his message is so serious. Yeah. And it's uh, David Goggins, and he wrote Never Finished. Yeah. Um, and they are both talking about the limitless potential we have as human beings. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and, and so it's it's. But it's, we don't tap into that <sighs> limitless space because of all the negative lies that we've been taught all of our life. I don't care if it was from your friends, your mama, your papa, your sister, your grandmama, your grand. I, I, I don't care. We have that has been ingrained in us in such I, a I way. I get that, but we've yeah. also made a choice. But that's where I was going to yeah. accept it. Yeah, because mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. because that you know because mm -hmm. I, I get it when we were little kids yeah. we we got that message, but yeah. as we break out and, and 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 do our own thing, we have the choice. We're stunning our growth from fear. We don't right. want to learn. We don't want to know no better, because well, this is our perception that we have adapted mm -hmm. and accepted and have been walking in all our. I'm, but, I'm, hey, I'm one of those. This, this is why you should read some of these books that we're talking yeah. about because they are powerful readings on breaking out of that that mm -hmm. limited mindset. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. yeah. I'm I'm so I'm so glad to be back with you guys. <laughs> I'm yeah, so too. glad me I have too. missed my boy. <laughs> and I told him, I said, look, because he's had you know life changes. <laughs> I've you know I don't know what the dot com I've been doing, but I've been here. Mm -hmm. Um, and I even said on my, on one of my, uh, my, my, um, visions, I mean, on one of my videos that, you know, I just was fearful. The devil was tearing me up and I was like, mm -hmm. you know, nobody want to hear nothing I got to say. Yeah, and I yeah. mean, all of those things, but you know, listen, what God has for me is for me. And I am ready to go into this next mm -hmm. phase of my mm -hmm. life and I am excited. Yeah. And it's powerful and yeah. it's going to be great. Yeah. So we're going to close right here. Marie's going to close in prayer. <sighs> Okay, Father, we, we honor you on today. Not only do we honor you, but we bless you. We thank you. We pray that our lives will show your glory. We pray that the people that you put us before will receive the truth of your word, the truth of our testaments of what it has been as we have walked in growth, as we have walked in change, and we as we have um, changed our mindset. And I want to Thank you so much, Father God, for a commitment, um, a commitment to you first and foremost, um, a commitment to your people that you have us before. Thank you for this opportunity that we have to glorify your name. And we pray that all that we do, oh Lord God, that we are being led by your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.